is Pat Keller McCormick of the United States. When it was announced that the Olympic Games would be held in London in 1948, after a 12-year hiatus because of World War II, 18-year-old Pat Keller tried out for the United States Olympic women's diving team. The following year, Pat Keller married her diving coach, Glenn McCormick. In 1948, I tried out for the my first Olympic team, and I missed it by one hundredth of a point. But I was very fortunate in meeting Vicki Draves and Sammy Lee, and these are former Olympic champions. And from that moment on, that's what I wanted to be. I was so thrilled just to be there, to be uh, able to compete. But it was really a very motivating factor to me, because from that moment on, I knew I wanted to not go on to the next Olympics, but I knew I wanted to do something that no one has ever done, and that's to try to compete in two Olympics and win the double-double. Helsinki, 1952, the opening day ceremonies of the Olympic Games. members of the United States women's diving team, 22-year-old Pat McCormick. Pat McCormick will compete in both the springboard and platform diving events. In springboard diving, Pat McCormick will attempt to continue the unbeaten streak begun by American women divers 32 years earlier in Antwerp, when women's springboard diving was contested for the first time at the Olympic Games. Then it was won by 14-year-old Eileen Riggin of the United States. Our swimming coach was an amateur, and we had no diving coach at all, because this was a, a somewhat of a new event. There was no one to follow. We, we just had to improvise as we went along. Before we were selected, we had a little difficulty. The person who selected the team reluctantly agreed to have women compete. And when they heard the children were uh, going to, to try to go to the Olympic Games, uh, they just said they definitely would not be responsible for taking us to Europe, that it was just simply impossible. And we uh, unpacked and cried. And finally, the day or two before we were to go, we had a telephone call, and they said, well, we've convinced them that uh, you uh, will be able to go on the team because you won your places, and you won them fairly, and uh, it wouldn't be right to deny you. Eileen Riggins' victory was the beginning of American women's dominance in springboard diving. In the next four Olympiads, American women control the event. At the 1936 Berlin Olympic Games, diver Marjorie Gestring of the United States won a double honor. She was awarded the gold medal and replaced Eileen Riggin as the youngest Olympic gold medalist. Marjorie Gestring was 13 years and nine months old. I'm awfully happy I won this championship and I owe all my things that I've won from my coach Fred Katie. As Pat McCormick prepared for the 1952 Helsinki competition, she remembered the London Games four years before. I can remember when Vicki Draves, who won the 1948 Olympics, came back, and at that time, Vicki was never a springboard diver. But uh, they asked her, I can remember being there, they asked her, Vicki, you know, how did you come up with this performance? And she said, Pat, she says, I just looked at my USA uniform. She says, I'd never represented anything so great. Now here in Helsinki, Pat McCormick will attempt to give the United States women the gold medal in springboard diving for the seventh consecutive time. 52 was really fun. I can say it's like your first kiss. Um, I never was exposed to the Olympics. Uh, it was a really big thrill. I felt when I was going to Helsinki that I was going to win. Although, um, at that time, Zoan Olson, who was our top uh, Olympic co contender at 40, in 1948, came back out of retirement. So everybody uh, 
figured out that she was going to win the next Olympics, and that just made me furious. Here in Helsinki, Pat McCormick duplicated Vicky Drave's feat by winning both the springboard and platform diving events. She shared honors with America's Sammy Lee, who won his second successive gold medal in men's high diving. When I first saw Pat McCormick dive, <laughs> I said, oh boy, that gal will never make it. She, could, she couldn't point her toes. They look, I, I said, you look like you got gaiters on her snowshoes in midair. I said, you can't straighten out your body. You always got a little Batinsky in there. When we say straight, we mean straight. You always got a pike in your dive. But that girl, she worked so hard and she was so determined. That's what makes her great. She had determination and she was one tremendous competitor. I'm telling you, and she met a challenge. The only problem with Pat is if everybody dived lousy, Pat dived lousy. If everybody dived like an Olympic champion, Pat McCormick dived better. She's got that kind of a competitive uh, instinct and uh, she's not gonna let anybody beat her. Melbourne, 1956. Pat McCormick will try to become the first diver in Olympic history to win successive gold medals in both the springboard and platform diving events. She and Glenn McCormick, her husband and coach, are now the parents of a small child. In preparation for the Melbourne Games, Pat McCormick's schedule never changes. 100 dives a day, six days a week, 12 months a year. 56, uh, it was really tough because I really wanted to do something that no one had ever done, and that's by winning two double-doubles back-to-back. My husband was becoming a very prominent coach at that time and coaching all the other people to beat me. It was really a, a strange thing uh, because here all the kids that had made the team, especially on springboard, two or three of the gals came out from the United States because they wanted to train with me, but uh, there is a hero worship with a coach, you know. These gals really looked up to Glenn, and it was really difficult because here I was training for the Olympics myself. I had a small child, and uh, I was fixing breakfast for them, and I thought to myself, hey, wait a minute, you know, I'm, I'm the star, <coughs> supposedly. Uh, something's got to be done about this. They should be helping me, just the idea of them coming out and staying with us and training with us. 17 women from eight countries compete in the springboard diving event. Preparing for her 10th and last dive, Pat McCormick has an insurmountable lead. Pat McCormick wins her third Olympic gold medal. Now it was time for the platform diving event and the opportunity for Pat McCormick to become the first diver, male or female, to win four gold medals. I was going in the finals in about fourth place and I had two dives left. And I'll never forget riding back in the bus, I had tears in my eyes. The girl that was in first place was my teammate. I really had to make peace with myself and I had to feel that whatever happened, I would be happy with the result. Well, I went into competition and I did two of the, the best dives I've ever done. I can relive this many, many times. You just can't imagine working so long for something and then finally achieving it. And then to cap it off by stepping up on those last three steps to that victory stand and then playing the Star Spangled Banner, wow. Pat McCormick retired after the Melbourne Olympics. I realized that I had won everything there is to win. Uh, I realized I wanted education, and uh, it was just a great thrill for me, and especially hanging on another four years. I feel so privileged to have the opportunity to do this, to be able to compete another four years. Pat McCormick, the only diver, male or female, to win successive gold medals in both the springboard and platform diving events.